mga bata. Lalong-lalong lalo na sa grade 5 laurel. Week 7 na tayo. Routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operation of decimal and whole numbers including money. Learning task 1. Round of the items and estimate the question. Then, write if if the answer is less than or if it is greater than the actual quotients. Learning task 1, number 1. 28.4 divided by 7. So, sabi po dito, i-round off natin siya. Ang magiging, uh, magiging yung sagot po ng round off natin ay 28. Then, divided by 7. 7 divided by 2. 2 divided by 7 is equal is equal to not cannot be. A, 28 divided by 7 is yes. <laughs> is equal to 28. Zero na po. Ang sabi din po dito ay 28.4 divided by 7. Parang ang gagawin po natin ay iaano rin po natin yung tunay yung real yung given question. 28.4 divided by 7. 2 divided by 7 cannot be nga po. So, 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4. 7 times 4, 20, 28 is equal to 0. Then, bring down 4. 4 divided by 7 cannot be. So, 0. 0 divide, ay, 7 times 0 is equal to 0. So, e 4 din po yun. Ang gagawin po natin, pag kulang pa, ilalagyan din po natin ng zero. Tapos, i-bring down po. 40 divided by 7 is equal to 5. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. So, 5. So, dito na ho na ano yung ating, ano. Pati po, wag po natin kakalimutan yung decimal point. Katapat po nun nandun sa baba. Ang answer po natin ay ganto, Kasi po, mas mataas yung actual question kesa sa fake, sa renowned of nating renowned of nating question. So, yan po ang sagot. Number 2. 53.62 divided by 5.24 Sabi nga ho dito, i-round off din po natin katulad nung nasa number 1. Ang magigisagot po natin ay 540 divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 5 times 5 is equal to 5. So, 0 po. Bring down 4. 4 divided by 5 is cannot be. 0 po ang sagot natin. 0 0 times 5 is 0. Then, 4. Then, if we bring down po natin yung 0. 40 divided 40 divided by 5 is equal to is equal to 0 ay 8 is equal to 8 5 times 8 is equal to 40 so 0 po parang ganun lang din ho 53.62 ang gagawin po natin ay i-divide din po natin yung actual question ayan po 53.62 divided by 5.24 is equal to 1. 
5.24 times 1 is equal to 5.24. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Then bring down 2. 122 divided by 5.24 is cannot be. Ang gagawin naman po natin ay, ay ilalagyan po tayo ng 0 kasi cannot be nga po. 5.24 times 0 is 0. Yan po. 1.22 Magdadagdag din po pala magdadagdag din po tayo ng 0 dito para maging i-bring down din po natin to. 1,220 divided by 5.24 is equal to 2. 5.24 divided by times 2 is equal to 148. Ayan po. Um, magiging 10 po to kasi nang hiram po tayo ng isa. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. 1 minus 4 cannot be kasi nga huhumiram tayo magiging actually magiging 1 po yun dadagdag din po tayo ng 1 tapos ito ho na e din ang hiram po tayo 1 din po magkisagot dito 11 minus 4 is 10, 9, 8, 7 so 7 po 1 1 minus 0 is 1 172 po tayo. So, ang magiging sagot po natin dito ay yan po. Kasi? Kasi po, mas, mas mataas yung in-round in off natin kesa dun sa actual given problem. Oh! Nagbabalik na pala kay... Ay, tabi. Learning task. Learning task. Two. Learning task two, number one. Yes, sir. Desa, and and I D. Bo D both materials for their project worth two hundred seventy six point forty five pesos. The girls divided the amount equally among themselves. How much is each share? Diba tatlo po silang babae? Gagawin po natin. Yan po. 276.45 divided by 3. 3, ay 2, I mean 2 divided by 3 is cannot be. 27 divided by 3 is can. So, 9 po. 3 times 9 is equal to 27. Is equal to 0. Bring down 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Bring down 4. 4 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Huwag din po natin kakalimutan yung point dito. Katapat lang po lagi nung nung nasa baba 3 times 1 is equal to 3 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 bring down 5 3 divided by 15 divided by 3 is equal to 3 6, 9 12, 15 is equal to 5 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 0. So, ang answer po natin ay 92.15 pesos. Yan po ang magiging share nila sa bawat tao. Sa number 2 po, kayang-kaya niyo na yan kasi naipiliwanag ko na ho kung paano niyo gagawin ay parang ginawa ko lang pong example yung number 1 tapos kayang-kaya niyo na ho sagutan yung number 2 
Ayan po. Learning task 3. So, solve the following problems. Show the four steps in the complete solution. Write your answer in your book. Number one. Mr. Villa bought 91.25 inches of plastic labeling tape. He will use 1.25 inches long to label each box. How many labels can he make? So, ang sabi po dito ay ipapakita natin ang four steps. Number one, ilang box, ilang label ang mababox. Ilang box ang malilabel. Number two, Ano ang given problem? Yung parang numbers na gano'n. E di 91.25 inch chest and 1.25 inches. Ano ang kailangan nating solution? E di division. At let number 4 ang solution. Yan po. Ito po ang solution natin. 91.25 divided by 1.25. So, yan po. 912 divided by 1.25 is equal to 7. 125 times 7 is equal to 875. Then, ma-minus po natin. Hmm. And then, bring down 5. Then, 375 divided by 1.25 is equal to 3. 1.25 times 3 is equal to 375 or 2, 0 po. So, ang sagot po natin dito ay 73. Sa number 2, 3, and 4, ay kayang-kaya nyo na yan kasi naipiliwanag ko na kung paano ito gagawin. Siya nga po pala, 73 box ang malalagyan ng labels. Sa learning task 4 po, para sa solution na learning task 4, magpatulong na lang po kayo sa mga ka-parents nyo. Mga bata. Magja-jump mag naman po tayo sa ratio of two given numbers. What is ratio? A ratio is the comparison of two or more quantities. Learning task 1. Based on the figure below, Answer the given question. Write your answers in your notebook. Pakita niyo ito. So, ang dito po ay may apat tayo na keys, seven seeds, and five clocks. Ang sabi ho dito, what is the ratio what is the ratio of keys to seeds? Ilan pong meron tayong keys at seven? Um... 4 is to 7. Ayan po. Sa number, sa number 2 po, what is the ratio of clocks to seeds? Means, 5 is to 7. Sa number 3, 4 5, ay kayang-kaya ni na yan kasi sobrang dali lang po. Po tayo. Write each, write each ratio in, in fraction and colon forms. Write your answer in your notebooks. Cups to saucers. May tatlo po tayong cups and apat na Saucers. Number one, cups to saucers. Ang gagawin po natin dito ay may pa-fracture po tayong i-rewrite po natin yung 
ratio in fraction at colon forms. So, pag po fractions is 3 is to 4. Ayan po, pag pa fraction. Tapos po, pag pa colon forms, ayan pa po, 3 is to 4. Ayan po. Number 2. Spoon to forks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. May 6 po tayong spoons and 4 forks. Parang gano'n lang din po. 6 and 4. 6, 4. So, sa number 3 po, hindi ko na ako nasagutan kasi kaya, alam kong kayang-kaya nyo na yan. Bye-bye!